Shiver me timbers, landlubbers. We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro 10.5. And the reason why I'm wearing this hat is because the source material for today's tutorial is a sea shanty. And you may be asking me, why are you writing a sea shanty? And I'd refer you back to the old saying, rocking and rolling won't turn her on. And being a rapper will just make her yawn. If you wanna get in her panties, you better write some sea shanties. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? We're back in Cubase and I'm gonna show you something that came included with Cubase 10.5, I believe. It's called the Audio Alignment Panel. If you have an earlier version or you don't have Pro, this may not work for you, but it's very cool and it's very useful for backup vocals or when an uh, instrument's supposed to be doubled but it's not exactly precise. And it's actually really useful for if you're recording bands and they're not exactly the tightest, you can take you know two parts and align them. So let me show you what I'm uh, working with. I have the Sea Shanty and we'll get into it. And uh, here's the chorus, and I have this Indian flute line uh, underneath the chorus. My captain says I'm ornery and I always misbehave, but there's some people in this world who don't get to be saved. I'd rather burn in hell than live in heaven as a slave. So send me down to the bottom, to my watery grave. Okay, so let's isolate the flutes on that part and just play them back and you can hear they're not perfectly in time. Especially in that last phrase. So if we want to align them, all we have to do is go to audio, uh, open audio alignment panel, and then we'll align this one to this one. You could either do it the other way if you want to, but we'll start with this, we'll select this and we'll add reference. And then we'll select the other track and we'll add it as a target. And we'll align audio and voila. They're aligned, and we could do it for the other section as well. So let's uh, this one's a little more on time, but whatever. We'll okay. So let's uh, open the audio alignment panel. We'll. Uh... We'll add this as a reference, and we'll add this as the target, and we'll align them. And then they line right up, so we'll go back and listen to that. And that may make, you know, the chorus, if it's unsoloed, just a little bit tighter. My captain thinks I'm angry and I always misbehave. But there's some people in this world who don't get to be saved. I'd rather rule in hell than live in heaven as a slave. So send me down to the bottom. Uh, just tighten everything up with the audio align. And this works especially well for backup vocals. So if we solo these four backup vocals, or I'll just let you hear it in context of the song real quick. I am an unbeliever and I do not care what's right. From nothing I have come and to nothing I'll return. So load the cannons and fire away, sit back and watch it burn. Leave no man alive. Let no man survive. Okay, so we can listen to the uh, backup vocals in... Leave no man alive. Let no man survive. Okay, and we'll just line those up real quick. I'll open up the audio alignment panel. We'll choose this as our source. And then we can just have multiple destinations. So this will be a destination one. Actually, I think you have to do them. Oh no, I did all three. So now we'll listen to that again. No man alive, let no man 
can survive. Pretty good. And now we can do it for all of these. So we'll add this here. And we'll add these as targets. And it aligns all three. And we'll go to those. Land shall sleep by my side till I sail out with the tide. Uh, and you can really tighten up back of vocals very quickly. Um, Leave no man alive. Let no man survive. All right, we'll do it again. Boom. And we'll select these three, add them to our targets. We'll align the three, and you'll see there's a way tighter. Leave no man alive. Let no man survive. And we'll do it for the final one. We'll add these as the target. And bada bing, bada boom. And here we go. Let the sea take our breath. As we drift to our death. Boom, and we have aligned backup vocals. So we can listen to them in context of the song. And we'll meet their boarding party. My name is Ensign Deaver. Things didn't go as planned. The whole crew caught a fever, and I wound up in command. So batten down the hatches into battle we shall go. Hoist the mainsail, furl the jib gangway, now boys he ho. Leave no man alive, let no man survive. My okay, and I think that it really does tighten up the backup vocals. Now there's limits to what audio line can do, you know. Um, it can't correct brilliant comedic timing. Let me pull in a couple clips here. And uh, we'll come in and we'll make these bigger. Wario. There we go. Okay, let's listen to clip one. Person, woman, man, camera, TV. And that has much different timing than clip two. Person, woman, man, camera TV. So what if we wanted to align these? Is it smart enough to do it? I don't believe so because it's too different. Open audio alignment panel. We'll choose this as our source and we'll choose this as our destination and we'll align audio and it'll make a uh, slight, you know, it tries to preserve words, tries to match words, but. Person, woman, man, camera TV. There's the, and here's both of them together. Person, woman, man, man, camera, TV. So the man is too far apart to actually uh, to sync up. So what you end up when you time stretch clip three into clip two is. Person, woman, man, man, camera, TV. So it's not perfect, you know, it won't perform wonders, but if something is close, it'll definitely time align it. So this has just been a quick tutorial on how to use time align. It's great for backup vocals. It's great for doubled parts that aren't perfectly in sync. And it's great for bands that aren't the tightest that you want to tighten up a little bit if they're running identical lines or singing backup vocals. And I'm glad that you got a chance to hear this song. I'll Leave the whole rough mix on my website at talkingleafmedia.com along with affiliate links to some of the gear that I use to make this song. Um, if you wanna check out the song and you wanna check out some of the affiliate links, it does help out the channel. So I hope that you found this useful and I just wanna say, you know, this sea shanty, it's about a guy who doesn't care what's right and he pays for sex and then everyone gets sick and he finds himself in charge and he sort of rushes headlong into danger and a bunch of people die. And I think before I leave, I just have to say that this story is completely fictional and any relation to a person either living or dead that's real is entirely coincidental. So that's all I got for you today, everyone. I hope you guys take care of yourselves and have a good one. Peace. Then my captain thinks I'm angry and I always misbehave. But there's some people in this world who don't get to be saved. I'd rather rule in hell than live in heaven as a slave. So send me down to the bottom, to my watery grave, to my watery grave, to my watery grave.